how is shooting pistol with red dot compared to iron sight? Is red dot just a fad that's going away? Or it's a tectonic shift that is changing the handgun landscape? What if all you have is the iron sight? Should you jump onto the red dot bandwagon? Well, I'm here today to have the discussion with you and share with my thought that hopefully will help you with your consideration. Now, before I excitingly share my test result, let's do a safety check and talk about the representation here for the red dot. It's the four inch, four size water PVP designed for red dot with that slide cut out, out of the box. And the protrusion design at the bottom of the handle that will help you lower the alignment when you draw that pistol with the red dot on top. On the iron side here is the trustworthy P226 represented by Navy with the outstanding iron side or I call it battle side that is so easy to acquire, stay on target. And what I like most about it is shines its accuracy out to the battle distance, 15 yards and above. Now the test condition is in the holster, on the shooting desk, indoor range, which prohibit drawing from the holster from the West Bank. For six hours is the We the People holster. For water PDP is the Terra holster. So I start with PDP first, and then P226. So five shot, five shot, back to back. And I did it three times. Now let's look at the PDP. So again, pistol inside the holster, laid on the shooting desk. And once I hit the timer, I draw from it and shoot. The first five shot by the way, there's no practice, okay? I'm trying to simulate the emergency use. So there is no practice at all. So first time took me a while to find that dot. 9.23 seconds. And the second iteration, I get better. 8.24 and the third I got really good 6.29 a very good time for me but uh, guys look at this amazing result all 15 shots all 15 shots landed here truly amazing Average time is 7.92 seconds. Now let's look at
the P two to six. Same thing. Gun inside the with the people holster laying on the desk. Once I hit the timer, I draw from it and shoot. First five shot and no practice. First five eight point three three second. Second time seven point eight five second. The third time seven point four one second. On average seven point eight six. A little bit better, a tad better. Because the spread between them among them is narrower. But the result is not as good. Still very strong though. The 10 shot landed here is strong. There's a five shot. One, two, three, four, five. The second iteration right here. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five. This is the second iteration right here. Because I shoot both with both eyes open, which I strongly recommend you to practice when you shoot pistol is to shoot them with both eyes. Okay? Because if you shoot it with one eye, it takes a lot of time to, to get that first shot. But this second iteration, when I shoot with both eye open, I think because my strong eye is left eye, but I think I use my right eye. Even with my both eye open, so I kind of, you know, bend both right here. So there was a mistake on my end. But granted, a mistake is a mistake. When you shoot with red dot, with both eyes open, you will not have that problem. Or not happening in this test. So as you can see, you know, the spread is wider. Even I take this out right here which is amazing. By the way, the distance is eight to 10 yards. So it's not close. So the result here is still very strong. It's just with that second iteration that I probably should be cross-eyed. The spread is narrower implying perhaps not much room to improve. The spread on the red dot is wider, implying lots of room to improve once you practice with the help of the technology. So that's the test result. In short, I find that uh, red dot does help with your speed and accuracy for sure. But it takes practice for you to find that dot at the beginning. And it may take more time, but as you get used to it, your time will drop. And during the test, I also find that the red dot so much easier to stay on target, especially with my Holoson 407 CO. There is an eight MOI circle, circle. So it's not a solid dot. It helps so much to stay on target. The iron sight, it's closer to the barrel, to the point of aim. So it's a much more intuitive setup for you to draw and point 
and shield. During the panic, you may not even have to look at it, look at the side at all. The side will be used as a very rough reference. There's nothing here on top for any side alignment, pointability, intrusion, obstruction. And you don't have to worry about the more, fun more functions, run out of battery and all that, etc., etc. Here with the red dot, if you want to overcome the more function, maybe a solution is to put a tall side here. So you can see the tall side through the red dot. But again, I don't know how accurately that tall side would be because I never had that experience myself. But even with the tall side, you still have to look through with the lens. So it's going to be a little bit slower if you use the tall side through the lens compared to pure iron side setup. It's just the physics. So that's the thought I want to share with you. I don't think red dot is a fact that's going away. I think it is bringing a tectonic shift to the pistol application that with the technology It really help with shooters, especially shooters that have eyesight problems, to acquire sight, stay on the sight, quicker and easier. The reliability, the battery life, is improving every year with all the features, all the false proof to help with that reliability. The iron sight will always be here to stay. And if you are very good with the iron sight, you may be even better with the red dot. But should you change your iron sight to red dot on the iron sight pistol, I would not recommend that. Instead, I would recommend doing the red dot with a modern polymer pistol that is designed for red dot. For example, uh, six hour uh, polymer new P360, 365. water or Glock with MOS, they are all designed for red dot use. They are light, so they can take on additional weight of their red dot. They have the red dot cut out on the slide, so it's factory tested to ensure reliability 
every shot. The slightest change on weight on the slide will affect your reliability. That's why I saw a lot of the more functions of the shooters in the competition. They modify the iron size slide. with the cut out for red dot aftermarket. Now maybe you can get a new slide with the red dot cut out, but still with a all metal construction, it's going to increase your weight change a little bit on your balance. Bottom line, if you want to start your red dot journey, I would definitely recommend you go with a ground up design for the red dot pistol. So that is my thought I want to share with you. I hope you find them useful and helpful for your consideration. No matter you shoot with iron sight or red dot, practice makes excellent marksman makes excellent hand gunner on our way to that journey destination whether it's through the iron side train or red dot bandwagon we will eventually get there with our dedication and practice. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share it, comment below with your thought, like, dislike, with your reasons. I love you all. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time.